Dungeons and Dumbles, everyone. Yay! <laughs> this is the intro of Amelia. Wave, Amelia. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, so what we like to do is do some quick intros on uh, Tiffany the DM. I uh, started this homebrew campaign back in 2018. Uh, that's that's what I do a lot of. I'm not gonna go to this. So let's go into our other people's. Let's start with Samantha. Hi. Hi, I'm Serena, um, I'm the of the Sexy Apocalypse on Twitter and the Sloppy Claws on Instagram. I like doing all the art, and I play Kiara, our Eldritch Knight, our Drow Eldritch Knight, uh, who is, at all times, trying to be a better mom. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Going for gold. <laughs> Going for gold, but often just achieving copper, so we're okay with that. At least we placed. Wooden spoon's even fine. Is this Kristen? Yeah, hi. I'm Kristen. I play Kayanthi. She is a high elf, half monk, half cleric, 100% doing her best. Um, I'm online. Good luck trying to find me. I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> I will go and make that. I'm McKenna, I play Luna, our paladin, werewolf, half-elf, noble, who's kind of full of herself. She's an Aries, but I'm a Leo, and apparently I'm also a Capricorn Rising. Hey. 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 And then we'll go to Amelia. So Amelia, tell us about some of the cool stuff you do, and if you have a, um, gosh, a handle or something. Let us know. Yeah, I'm, I'm Amelia. I'm a illustrator and uh, working on a novel of my own. Um, I You can find my artwork at AmeliaPenDraws.com or on uh, Instagram or anywhere that I'm on. I'm Amelia Pendraws. Um, and uh, I'm playing Ari, who is an arcane elf noble. And... Uh, it's gonna be your first day. Today's my first day. First day on the job. No pressure. And shame. We'll show you the roast. You can find us at Dungeon underscore underscore jams on Twitter. And we're also on the Facebook with all the old people. And um, I thought about doing Instagram, but I really don't know what to do with it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Candid pictures of you uh, just fighting with technology to get it to work. <laughs> yeah. 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 And yeah. your dinner. Yeah. 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 Pretty much the, the, uh, the personal account of, of like a stress ball. So if you get a stress ball that looks like a D20, it's just like, it's just, that's it. It's a great <laughs> Yeah, as per usual, the gremlins came exactly when I was setting up the game, and all our technology stopped, so that's <laughs> why. <laughs> but, we're working now, so uh, we're gonna get started, and I- Oh, sorry, okay. Michael, I just live with you, Here. so I know all about you. <laughs> I don't need any degree. I know who you, you are, are. <laughs> so it just keeps me doing all of the show. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> I'm just sitting here, just like, uh, Hi everybody, I'm Michael, I'm at Robosary on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll be playing Elliot, our Elijah Elf, who, who is having such a great time partying in the Feywild with the people, but also just has more questions. Yes, we left off at a very intense uh, moment last time. We'll just do a little quick recap. So the party was invited to Queen Sabra's Riot to this event. Um, with the help of Arturo, the damsels have been invited to the party. They um, see beings from all kinds of places. They see demons, they see Winter Bay, uh, the Arcane Elves, the Jin. Just all sorts of creatures here that they 
and he recognized the scene before. Chianti battled with a fellow, fellow duelist. They had a little bout. The rest of the crew takes part in the pepper drinking contest and are whisked into dances. Um, the crew has a goal. They promised Arturo that they would free his mother from the vengeance of Queen Sabra, and to free her, the damsel need to get four keys. Find the dungeon in a continually changing palace because hey, they're fey! They can have boring lives. So, Ella and the Jailer has one, a soldier captain of the guard has one, one of Sabra's courtesans has one, and the last one is in Sabra's room. And the party sends their NPC friend, Nivalia, who's a rogue, to go and scout out the palace and find Sabra's room to potentially get their key back. So, Despite all that, this is what we're going to do instead. We're going to do a little bit of an intro for Ari. Yeah. Um... Okay, so Amelia, it's your turn. Please describe what she looks like. Okay. Um, Ari is small with a, a kind of circular face, and she is golden eyes, and a blackish-blue hair, um, if I remember. Yes, it's like an iridescent sheen. Yeah, iridescent iridescence. Yeah. The light hits her just right. Yeah, her, uh, I don't remember her middle name. Did you make a middle name? No. Okay, so her pearl name right now is Chiari Aurelia Drake. And right now she goes by Ari, because that's a lot to say. <laughs> and, and Ari is her teenager name. Um, baby name is Kiki. Don't call her that. She's Ari. <laughs> Ari now, I have outgrown that. <laughs> also, we're in the Feywild. Why would she tell us our middle name? Yeah, I mean, what, what the Feywild? Yeah, you don't just automatically <laughs> say your middle name to all the babies. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should give them my full name. I don't really think that we could really get to know each other unless they know my full name and I know their full name. Oh, yeah, 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 we really gotta break down the barriers. <laughs> yeah. Full name. Full disclosure. One of them. Coming back. Middle names only. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Also, a quick shout out to, uh, to to our boy who got us into a party. I mean, he, he really yeah, set us up with a rager. Like, let's get you a friend who sets you up yeah. with a really good party. Yeah. <laughs> he does do all the paperwork. So yes, he does. Like, it's time to just be able to, like, write you guys down. So, <laughs> All right. So, Kiara and Aurelia, you stand in your half-brother's private chamber, a place you've been in. Uh, quite often, the two of you are really close. He's more like a dad than a brother to you. And uh, it's different this time because you definitely snuck in. <laughs> the room is neat and tidy thanks to the maids, as well as Arty's own sense of organization, paintings of the ocean outside and various sea points, and paintings of you and him from a few years ago, and amongst the others, you know, all these paintings. And you see it like a little desk. Um, well, there's one painting you don't know of. This is wrong. Uh, there's a portrait of a green lady with like flower hair, but it, well, actually, it's like a child. But uh, you don't know what that's about. It's just a little bit Um You're here in this room because you caught wind of a fey party. You know, just any party, but like a fey party. And how do you respond to that idea? I can't miss it, clearly. Yeah, obviously, you know. <laughs> So we're gonna do a flashback sequence to when you're in front of your half brother's desk, he's working on some boring paperwork, something over the empire's influx of immigrants, and he glances up at you and he says, Ari, I know you want something, so you might as well come out and say what it is. Well, I was thinking I should get a nice dress so that I can go to this party. And what party would that be for, exactly? The, the, the... <laughs> this one! The one you've got a ticket for! I'm your plus one, right? Uh, no, you are not my plus one. Last I checked, it was going to be me and Vela. What? That's not fair! Oh no, a princess is left all alone in her castle full of servants who will do literally anything for her. What a cruel, cruel emperor I am. No. 
I know you think everyone is about to go to this thing, but it's just I you. have everyone. <sighs> what? No. There's only going to be a select few there. And me. <laughs> it's going to be me, Talikia, Lister, Vela. I mean, Alpha knows what she wants. <laughs> and Ron, like it usually is. I mean, even Vela is a bit of an extension of what is beyond normal because we just simply don't know how safe it is in the Fey realm to have a party or who is going to come and be there. Maybe someone from Argonegnon's court is going to be there. I simply do not know. So, you. But look, why don't you have a party here? You could invite Rashad. Yeah. Oh, I thought you. Well, what about. about um, Tarban? Uh. That kid that likes art. Um, what? No. What's his name? Um. <laughs> Edel? There's Andal, he's 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 okay. Yeah. I don't want to invite any of them. Okay, well there's Lowen. Yeah. They're lame. <laughs> <laughs> well I'm sure you can Pass your find off on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can find someone to invite to a party at the castle. <laughs> so entertain yourself. Definitely not Roshad. He's, yeah. on the, he's on the do not invite to anything list. Sure, I will add him to the <laughs> the blacklist. You will not come to Gotta anything. Gotta remember that one as a singer. Gotta. <laughs> well, after his resounding no, you decided that you were going to find your own way there. <laughs> Sick birds. <laughs> and now you're in his bedroom looking for the talisman that is going to get him there it's i mean it's essentially like you know a port key but we're not gonna call it that he um he's put it in here somewhere you know you could probably get it to work and then it's a really advanced spell so you have to get it and then get to the augmentation chamber and then you'll be at the party so now you're looking around for it so can i get a perception check from you um 13. Okay. All right, 13, you look around the room, it's nicely tiled, there's like a canopy bed on a dais to the left, there's uh, a fireplace with some embers still crackling in it, and there's this ornate couch with a plush rug, and you know, just the normal castle stuff. Uh, he has his smaller writing desk over to the right, you walk over there and you start sifting through the papers, and you see like a to-do list and like some... I like a doodle hidden in the corner and then just scroll out to like still look professional and and um, you know, pretty much you know like insight yeah you could use uh, I mean <laughs> pitch, it, pitch it pitch it to me I will in <laughs> can you use my performance check yeah <laughs> <laughs> you my yes you yes, yes, could sneak to the room <laughs> show me where the stone is <laughs> I mean, you can mm-hmm. definitely try. I really need it! <laughs> um, uh, I'll, uh, I'll try you know, uh, I'm really bad at anything. <laughs> I'll investigate the room. Yeah, there you go. That one should give you something. Why don't you roll for me? Yeah, oh, that's a seven. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Number seven. Yeah, okay. You observe the room. It's very much a room. You walk over to his nightstand. You open it, and then there's like a few things in there, like the history of elven principalities, and writing utensil, pen pad, a ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like there's the equivalent of like some random company's stress ball is in there, um, and you you're not finding much in here. So you go and you go to the other side of the room and you open his closet and you're you're sifting through his like line of many cloaks he just likes cloaks and um, you find an armoire or a set of drawers that you can go and look through. Is this like is this is his office room, right? No, this is his bedroom. Oh his bedroom. I'm in an underwear drawer. Breaking and entering. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, I mean it's right in front of you, so like you 
who will open the first drawer. This is our drawer. Shut it. You open the second drawer. It's the undergarment drawer. And uh, you rifle through that. Find um, find underwear. <laughs> and a bottle labeled Queen's Lace. With an underwear drawer? Yeah, I mean, Underwear yeah. drawer. The Queen's Lace, it's yes. So, um, I'm kind of... We'll just let that sit there if you know what Queen's Lace Another is Another heartburn letter. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, you, you know what? At the bottom of the drawer, you find this piece of paper that's been folded over several times, and there's, like, a couple of hearts in it. And I'm, I'm just kidding, there are no hearts. It's an adult love letter. <laughs> um... <laughs> They're, the writing is like really nice and in cursive, or they're equivalent to like cursive. Yeah, it's it, it's like oh, three, it's like three years old. So you know, this old news. It's from Bella. She's she's a coworker. It's from Bella. She's a coworker, and uh, she basically it's very it's almost painfully embarrassing to read. Like it's very uh, like piney and. Finding the sense of like she's moody. Moody is a good word for it. And she's like, oh, I, I see you play the piano in your loneliness, and I like long to, you know, like be with you, and fulfill your sorrow. Yeah, it's very, it's way more poetic than that. It's poetic. Yeah. I've seen the remoteness in your eyes as your hat fingers dance along the ivory keys. Your soul far away, but your body so close to what it feels obliv- oblivion. I wish to fill that void between yourself and your heart. <laughs> you just need to surrender for all, every spontaneous yeah. poetry moment. <laughs> this. Absolutely. This is great. Perfect. Yeah, that's exactly what that says. And, um,. He goes on a little bit longer about how he has, I don't know, nice hair or something. And, um, in this drawer. <laughs> she's the walking armory. Yeah, she's, she's, yeah, that was the walking armory. She usually has a lot of knives on her. So it's kind of funny seeing her in this light. She wrote you once and it said, bro, same, and that was it? <laughs> <laughs> bro, same. In the same vein as Lionel, just like. I'm sorry. Just exist in the same brain space. <laughs> Because I knew Lionel in a really fancy way. He's like, bruh, I am so multi-talented. Bruh. I'm really into this role that I'm doing. <laughs> well, <laughs> that, that is a <laughs> you, you look through the underwear drawer and uh, do not find another heartfelt letter. You um, you don't find the stone. So you're like, okay, well. Mystery in check to see if I've stolen things from him before and where he likes to hide them. That's a great idea. Yeah, go for it. Roll. Where did he hide my candy? Oh, yes. He would hide the candy. 21. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, perfect. You remember with clarity that he took your, like, sour candies and hid them under his bed in, like, a compartment. Why didn't I think of that first? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, there's... A compartment under his bed that is actually like seated in the floor. You have to like lift the tile of on the floor, and then inside that is like a se- a secreted compartment. So you get on your hands and knees and um, start crawling under the the bed, and there's you know like dust and and so you crawl anyway. You're going forward. You find the outline of the. The, the compartment, you brush it off, and you recognize that on it is a blood seal. So you need his blood to open it. Make everything difficult. <laughs> Looks like <laughs> you're going to have to your brother's throat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like he doesn't want you getting in there. So, uh, why don't you just make an intelligence check or Arcana <laughs> for me, and then we'll see where we go from there. On brand. On brand. Uh, eleven. Okay. Bro, same. <laughs> uh, like this. Yeah, so you sit there, like, under the bed for a while, just kind of thinking about, like, okay, well, maybe I can goof it. Like, my blood is the same blood. 
Are you even related? You know, like, he's your half-brother, and, like, you could probably, like, get it to, like, you could probably, like, tweak it, you know? You could try. Maybe, maybe your, like, blood is close enough to, like, fool the mechanics or, you know, sorcery of this, this blood luck, blood seal luck. So, um, you're gonna have to just, let, I mean, this is normal for you prick your, your finger and stab it down. All of it. <laughs> so you place your dead bloodied that. finger oh. on, on the seal and it glows. Uh, like it's activating reading it and then it fades. <laughs> oh. I might check his trash can to see if he like left blood on it when he like sealed it up. Party or none of us are. <laughs> a bloody nose or something. Uh, yeah, sure, go for it. See if there's like a napkin in there. Yeah. That is like where he was like, ow, I'm gonna know. Yeah, so you search through the trash can. Well, yeah, yeah. You get the you get to the receptacle. And it's empty. Like the maids came in earlier today. They swept this whole place. They cleaned out the trash can. You know, it looks really nice. You know, maybe they did too good of a job. So on it, man. God. So efficient. They all need raises. Then they'll be good. <laughs> you did not find a sample of his blood, so you glance around the room, you um, sift through some of his books. I don't know, maybe he got a paper cut. You don't find anything, so how about you make another perception check for me as you search the room for other ways? Hey. Uh, 13, again. Okay, so you shuffle around the room, look behind his nightstand, and you find a glove. And within reason, you could assume it's his, because it's in his room. And then, you know he's a mage, so within reason, you're like, okay, maybe there's some magic residue, like, on this glove. And maybe with this in tandem of your own blood, you could potentially fool it. So, you get back on your knees, and you go under the, past the dust bunnies, go back, and you try the seal. Alright. Yep, so you... Put your hand down. It takes a couple of tries. You have to try it about like four times because it will glow and fade and glow and fade. And finally, you're managed to pull aside the lid. Hopefully this isn't more letters. Yeah, inside you see um, a ceramic dagger that has a white blade. You see a spyglass with some scratches on it, you know, probably from his boyhood. Um, by a stash of magic chocks, and um, then you see the stone. It's an orange gem set into a lush green pillow. What do you take? How much trouble do I really want to get it? <laughs> that's, that's the real yeah, just true all yeah. the trouble. Get it. You, you could take it all. Uh, well, definitely the stone. Okay, yeah, you can grab the stone easily, I'm so you can reach. I'm like, how much trouble do I want to get in, though? I mean, a dagger for a party? <laughs> Bruh, yeah. yeah. I know, he said it was dangerous, so I might as well, right? You might as well go armed <laughs> to this dangerous party. You were going to great influences on you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's a spyglass in there. You can take it and look at it. It's a, like a little. You can take it out and look through it, and it, it works. It's a working spyglass. That's nifty. Take, <laughs> <laughs> take his stuff. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean he was, he's gonna notice you know to that, right? <laughs> this is for keeping me away from the party. <laughs> Your vengeance. Revenge. Absolute right. party girl energy. <laughs> take it. I'm gonna break it to you. All right. And take I'm gonna take take it <laughs> okay, well, um, you have the stone, you look at the other items you are tempted by, and um, you decide to take the stone and uh, the spyglass, and you sit under this, uh, this bed in his room and just stare at that dagger a little bit longer before you decide to start to scoot the lid back on. It's quite heavy. So. Oh no, but he's gonna know I took his dagger and thing. Maybe he won't know. 
<laughs> Get I was up. playing Get with up. it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Put well. your own, like, little heartfelt letter. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I you just give the reverse pit pocket this in this place, like... <laughs> anyway, yeah, you can yeah. you can put them, just put them back, it's fine. So, there we go. So next we return to the party. And it's announced that there is going to be a new uh, social dance. It's similar to the quadrille, which consists of four couples, and then they um, will rotate to it together as like a unit of eight, and they change partners within that unit of eight. So the first set of partners we have is, is um, Kayaki and Irvian, and of course they're adorable together. We have a little moment, and next... Um, Oh, I should mention prior that the party managed to locate Elia, who is the jailer, and the party purposefully went over to Elia's group and sort of just mingled into it so that they could be part of their quadrille. Uh, Elia is an androgynous person. And um, <clears throat> so after Kayande and Aravan dance, they to switch um actually well during that luna is dancing with elia and she gets some help from oculus but they do not manage to locate the key on them next to the the, the partner switch and kayanthi tries her hand at it right yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now it's magical <laughs> all three of you now are, are kind of honing in so um at uh, every. Alright, so this is what's gonna happen. You guys now get to, like, try to. You guys can use an action, and then your partner will switch, and I'll roll to see who winds up with the Alright, so. Actually, what we'll do first is, at this point, your partner's changed, because that's why the dance is kind of like right now. Yeah. Alright, so. Kayanki, you wind up doing Elwyn first, so you have one action to attempt to locate the key on Okay, let me... My plan in hand isn't the best, but it's... You know, my dexterity is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Alright, so, yeah, go Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and try a side of hand. Okay, <laughs> okay um, no. Oh, God, I should lead. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I, maybe, maybe I slip my hand down trying to find the key, maybe I grab his butt or something, so I rolled like an 11. Oh, uh, 11? Okay. Um, Hi, Dan, with charisma. Is, is that how you want to flavor it? <laughs> She's accidentally feeling him up. It's not on purpose. She's like, yes. oh, no. I, can't I can't see if you ever drink. <laughs> so, like, you, you slide your hand down uh, their back, and you, like, you're just trying to find anything that would indicate, like, a and then if you, you stop and you're like, oh, that's a bug. <laughs> 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 and Elvis is like, oh, feisty. And then put her hand right back up your hair and you just hold it the whole time. Like, <laughs> so you definitely know that it's not in the back area or the or the butt pockets. It's not there. So you, you yeah. kind of motion to the like team like over the shoulder. You're like, Not near the bot. <laughs> <laughs> she touched the butt. She touched the butt. We always go off my. We always go off the table. All right, Kiara, you switch over to a little next. Oh dear. <laughs> Remember, not the butt. <laughs> Not the butt. Okay, um... Actually, we're gonna add performance checks on, on top, at the top of every round as well as your, um, action. So make a All performance right. check. Alright, fantastic. Alright. It's more complicated than anything, because, like, if you're a bad dancer, then that just means you're a bad dancer. It's not gonna be really bad. That is a 14 in all. Okay, so yeah, you do alright. Um, the, the dance isn't like it's a really good one. It's like, you know, a social, uh, 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> so the way I want to flavor this is I'm going to sort of, I'm going to play it off like, so I'm going to play it off as if she wants to sort of be the one leading the dance. So uh, her area of feel is going to be around the torso, like the uh, hip to hip to rib torso part. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be her whole like shit. So yeah. shall I make a sleight of hand as well? Sure, you can go that. Alright. At 17. So, you, um, kind of, uh, just position yourself in a way where you can, uh, I don't know, how are you flaming? I don't know. <laughs> you, you do? Oh, oh um, I want to. I want to do that thing where you sort of lift up your partner just a fraction, and then you pull them into a dip. <laughs> okay, yeah, so you, yeah. you lift Elwyn up, and Elwyn's just like, whoa, you're very strong. And you feel <laughs> their, like, hand, like, coming, like, go and, like, touch your bicep a bit, and, and um, then they lean back into the dip, and um, you see, like, the coat that they're wearing kind of, like, open up a little bit, you can see that there is something inside the like, interior breast pocket. And then you come back up to the dip. So, from, from the dip. Uh, yeah. She remarks on her being strong and she's like, oh, it's the most becoming feature of an editor's dress. <laughs> <laughs> Flirts back! Flirts back, yeah. <laughs> now it was into it, well, I think we are becoming quite close. Uh, okay. The um okay. Next it will go up to Luna. Okay, so you can get up to Luna. And you're now dancing with Owen. Oh, you're a I'm and uh Oh um, before we sort of pass yeah, off yeah. it's uh she's going to like um as she's sort of transitioning back to her partner, like, the voice doesn't come out of her mouth, it just comes out of the little snake. She's like, I'll try that again. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Um, Elwyn. Yeah, Elwyn oh. says, hi, what a, what fine dancers we have tonight. <laughs> I actually just um, rolled for my um, performance and I got a nat 20. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you're like, we're gonna step it up. Yeah. No. Yeah, you're really. Yeah, and so, <laughs> do you um, what do you, what do you say to like try to up the ante? Like, are you gonna do like a lift or? I'm gonna actually say that like I'm teaching him like techniques from back home. Okay, so you're like yeah, check this out and then. It's foreign, important. Uh, it's foreign and important. So you instruct him to like kind of like lift you out, and then you go into. I mean, you did a lot of ballet, so let's say you kind of just. Yeah. 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 On point. On point. And then you, you kind of motion <laughs> for him to like kind of like move you around. And so you kind of say, yes. And then he uh, pulls, they, pulls you like into that elegant like ballerina dip and come back up. And it was just like, oh yeah, so good. Yay. Um, at this moment, you have secured your, your dancing space, so what do you want to do? I'm gonna, um, try to, like, keep him occupied with complicated dance moves to give, um, Snake Buddy a chance to sneak up and grab it while he's distracted, and while the, like, lapel's flying open. Ah, okay. okay. So, does, does Oculus get guided? Would that be an advantage, actually? Yeah, I would say, I would say that'd be, like, an advantage. Yeah. So, Luna will have you do another performance check. And then oh. we'll have Oculus do, like, a <laughs> Alright, I got a dirty 20 this time. Okay, yeah. You, know, you just keep, like, bringing up the ante. You're like, oh, let's try this. Let's do this. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh, you got a plus six with the moon after your kid. Oh, uh, I got excited because I wasn't knowing who, uh, so I got a 20. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what my plus Ooh. is, but I just got a Wait, did that, that 20. 20. And... Yes! Yay! Okay. <laughs> and I was yeah. like, well, we're a posterity, let's roll the next one. It was 17. I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so either or, you're both successful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You convince Elwyn to do a like full body lift with, with you, and so like while he's concentrating on like holding you in the air, Oculus kind of like swoops down and grabs whatever, whatever is in the pocket, and then uh, comes back over to Kara and. Uh, <laughs> 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 Don't tell the elf. <laughs> so then, um, in, uh, as you're switching partners again, Kiara, you feel a key come into your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna jump. We're just gonna put it into the third pocket. <laughs> yeah. That's that <laughs> Alright, so we're going to hop back over to... <laughs> we're going to go back to Ari. Okay. Hello, this is Tiffany, your DM. Thank you so much for listening to Dungeon Damsels. We really appreciate all your support. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That really helps us out. And if you're interested, we also have a Patreon, as well as um, a podcast version of our show. You can find it on Spotify, TuneIn, Podcast, Podbay, Podbean, and pretty much where pod- anywhere where podcasts are. <laughs> Thank you again so much, and we hope to hear from you soon.